Hi, today I would like to introduce you another great product by Colorcraft and it's called Aztec Craft Paint. I have here two ranges, one is metallics and the second lustrous. I will be speaking about both because they are going together really really great even when it's this is metallic this is more shimmery look I love to combine them and I think it's uh, great to have both in each range there are six different colors here are metallics there are different colors of gold silver some bronze and this bottle is 150 milliliters. It's uh, quite big. You can have a lot of fun with these. And these paints are water-based. They are not toxic. You can mix them with uh, almost anything and you can use them for paper, for clays, for fabric, for terracotta, uh, also for wood. No problem. So these are metallics and the second range are lustrous. I hope I'm pronouncing it well. Also amazing colors. You can mix them. So there are some violet, green, red, pink, yellow and uh, blue. These paints are a little bit... Uh, they have some shimmer inside. It's not seen well in bottle, but I will show you in a minute my swatch, which I prepared. And before I go to swatch, there is one tip. If you want to work on some small project and you don't want to move with big bottles, just use this it's organizer, also about color craft. And you can, it's new one, so it's not moving. Add your paints into these small bottles and then just open it and paint. It's very easy and no, well, it's faster than working with big bottles. So I prepared swatch. I made it in advance because I want to tell you many things about these colors. So this is watercolor paper. Here is no gesso, here is black gesso and white gesso. So you can see how they look on the different surfaces. So here is light silver and as you see these metallics are absolutely gorgeous on dark surfaces. You will see my art journal in a minute and uh, it's much more visible. So light silver silver, here is light gold, gold, bronze and copper. Uh, at the end of the video I will um, add you closer look, uh, closer looks, I'll make photos, it's not so visible on camera, these uh, amazing colors. So just uh, for info how they look. Uh, what I find out, it doesn't matter if you use gesso under it or not. It's quite, uh, it's quite the same. And here are posters. Also, here is uh, no gesso. Here are more diluted with water, black gesso, white gesso. I think uh, it's the same. Doesn't matter if you use on your mixed media project any gesso. Of course, for mixed media it's important to use gesso, but for the paints it's not necessary to use gesso. Gesso makes just these colors uh, more vibrant. So we have got yellow, pink, blue, aquamarine, Okay, it's something light green, but it's called aquamarine, purple and red. When I'm moving it, you can see this amazing shimmer look. And now I will show you some of my projects. 
So here I have card. I stamp it image with uh, Versa marking and I heat emboss it with uh, golden embossing powder and then I painted it with a combination of both craft paints with uh, lustrous and metallics. You can even mix them. As you see on my leaves I mix it uh, light gold with uh, aquamarine. So don't be hesitate and mix them. Here I was just coloring and uh, I was trying to make shadows. It's also possible but uh, not so visible as I wanted. The second one. It's really, uh, really good pigmented so when you are coloring uh, black stamped image you can see that you can lose lines because there is a glitter over it so I found out find out that better is color heat embossed image so here I stamped image with Versa mark I used uh, white embossing powder and then I color it with uh, metallics it's not finished card, car, it's uh, just panel, but I really love how it looks like. It's shimmery, it's original, I need to finish it. <laughs> Here I was just using uh, colors for another project and I was using brayer. And these papers were just for cleaning my brayer. I think I will make it some art journal. Here are lustres, but also with some metallics. Here I used part of it, here are just metallics. And finally here is my art journal. This is uh, art journal from Colorcraft. It has got uh, black pages. And uh, I was uh, painted with both range of products. Uh, first uh, I made uh, uh, the middle of the flowers it's uh, just uh, stencil and texture paste it's sand texture paste and then I just I would was just coloring to make flowers this is Tim Holtz uh, butterfly also colored with it as you see I really really made uh, tons of layers there are also acrylics uh, for white splatters and I used uh, Dervent uh, graphic pens, acrylic pens, just to make uh, some details. And this uh, sticker is from Tim Holtz. I really love how, how it's shimmering, how does it look. It's really, really cool. Of course, at the end of the video, I will have for you closer looks of this art journal. And uh, here just one light painting to show you how amazing and it's quite liquid. It's so easy to paint with these craft paints. Okay, the black cardstock is the best for it. I really love how it looks like. So you just fast brush strokes. So I think it's all for now with these paints. I didn't. I didn't try it on uh, try it on the uh, fabric yet. I was just playing with uh, paper and uh, maybe you saw by Colorcraft my box. This box was also painted with uh, metallics and tutorial is by Colorcraft uh, on the block. This is my box for die cutting. 
So, thank you for your time. I hope you will try these paints and you will like them like I like you. Check Colorcraft blog for more ideas. My uh, design team colleagues made a lot of different projects with these. This was my introduction video. So now you know many about these. So let's go try it and have a fun. So thank you for watching and see you next time.